What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today I'm going to open up one of these uh, Big and Collectibles Black Friday crates that they sent to me. So, uh, yeah, of course, with Big and Collectibles, they always have a bunch of different sales going on, and obviously with Black Friday, they have all kinds of things, and I believe some stuff for Cyber Monday as well. Anyway, they sent me some different, like, bundles and crates that they will be selling on their website, and uh, I'm going to open up all of those different things, too. We're going to have separate videos for them, so be on the lookout for them, and that way you guys kind of have an idea on uh, what these things have in them, because, of course, I think everything, like, the, they're doing for Black Friday is just about is, like, random crates, and uh, with this one, it's obviously, as you guys can see, it's $24.99, and I believe this is the one that's supposed to include 12 random Yu-Gi-Oh packs. So, I don't really know exactly what to expect. Hopefully some newer packs, but either way, that's a pretty good value. So, let's go on ahead, open this up, and uh, see what we get from it. Of course, too, obviously, like I said, they sent this to me to do the opening on, and... Uh, yeah, check them out. I'll have a link to, I guess, like, all their Black Friday stuff in the description, by the way, as I'm waving around a knife. I'm threatening you. <laughs> Do it! Go over there. <laughs> That's not creepy, right? <laughs> Can't say my channel's for kids after I wave a knife at them, right? Does that help? I don't know. That might be my way of defeating Kappa, right? <laughs> if we want to call it that. I, I hate that name for it. All right, so for our packs, we have uh, Chaos Impact. I want to say Cosmic. What's wrong with me? Another one. Then uh, Storm of Ragnarok. Hidden Summoners, got two of those. Extreme Force, two of those. Uh, Soul Fusion, Fists of the Gadgets, uh, Code of the Duelist, and then we have a uh, 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Mega Pack. So that's from the Mega Tens. So let's get to it. I guess we'll start off with this one. Doesn't really matter what order. Also, I believe they said that these wouldn't contain anything like Number Hunters or Hidden Arsenal Packs, by the way. I believe it says that on the item page. So you're going to get good packs from this. We'll see if we have some good luck, though. That's what matters, right? Okay. Have Great Fly. Pretty decent. And then, oh, that's actually really good. I don't I don't know if I've gotten many of these. We have a World Legacy Succession. So, yeah, that's our Prismatic Secret Rare or whatever, or Extra Secret Rare. That is awesome. Well, there we go. I think out of my case and everything, I opened up those magazines. We opened up more than probably should. <laughs> I ended up, I think, only getting, like, one of this card. So, that's cool to get another one. And then, oh... Here we go. Yeah, that is awesome. Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage. I might not be a fan of Sky Strikers, but that is still really good to get. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. I, I'm just tired of them winning everything. And then uh, Network Trap Hole. No hate to them. If you love them, good for you. But I, I just want to see more variety, okay? <laughs> and we know we're get, they're getting their Link Monster in March. So, or their new Link Monster, I should say. Code of the Duelist. That was a really good start, though. Seriously. That was a good mega pack right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. We got an ultra rare. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Uh, let's see. This one has seven driver. Not bad. I think this card kind of looks cool, at least, because it's like a guy on a motorcycle. So, that's cool. And then uh, Trickstar uh, Lily Bell. We're at least guaranteed a hollow, at least a super rare. So, getting anything above that is automatically good. Fists of the Gadgets. Everything's holographic, of course. I guess with all the packs we got, we're at least guaranteed a hollow. Whoop, focus, there we go. Boot up order, sign it conflict, shooting code talker. Then we got Archfiend's Ascent. I always seem to get the Archfiend cards uh, from these, which is cool. I, I do like them. So there we go, another one for the collection. Soul Fusion, all right. Can I get Suchinoko this time? I don't even know if I've gotten one of those from the Mega Tens even, so we'll see. Jack Jaguar is pretty good. And then we have uh, Thunder uh, Dragon Duo. Pretty decent. And then Simon Great Heat Leo. Now we've got the Predator Plant. It's good with Super Poly. There you go. Take one of your opponent's monsters. Go for that one. Now another one of Soul Fusion. Another one of Jack Jaguar. There you go. And... Oh, there! Now that is awesome! Okay, we got an Ultra Rare. It is a Cyber's Clock Dragon. Oh, that is really cool. I think in the Megatons, too, he was like a rare. I was really hoping they'd make him one of those uh, prismatic seekers because, I, I don't know, I like all the different forms of summoning for Cybers, and a Cybers Clock Dragon is pretty good, actually. He is a scary one to get on the field, so that is awesome. Well, there we go. Got the cover card. I'll take that. And, oh, there you go. Sinet Fusion. That makes sense. That's pretty good to get both those together, too. <laughs> you might as well just throw in the polymerization for me, too. Not bad at all. I love Cybers, anyway. 
it's one of the things that kind of bums me out about the new series. I, I hope there's not any like big changes, but I'm gonna miss getting all these different like forms of summoning stuff for Cybers because I've actually enjoyed using Cybers. Even though I'm not the biggest Link Monster fan, I really enjoy using that deck. Just fun. Oh, really? <laughs> We're getting all kinds of awesome stuff. It sold uh, two tails of the Noble Knights. Well, there's like one of my favorite Link Monsters ever just right after that. That is awesome. So yeah, you guys know me. Noble Knights, always a fan of it. This card's a lot easier to get now, but I'll still take a first edition one for sure. And then also uh, Venture Charge. Oh, Scrambled Egg. Okay, who cares about that Noble Knight, right? That's, no, <laughs> I'm not even going to go that far. But yeah, we're, we're doing amazing so far. Let's see, Extreme Force, another one. Of course, I've always had decent luck with Extreme Force. For some reason, it's actually a set that likes me. <laughs> so, uh, we, we do okay with it in most, in most cases. Let's see. Then. Oh, yeah, I thought so. I thought I could see a ritual. It is a Vendred Battle Lord. Still think this card looks really cool. It's just a shame that Vendreds never did really what I wanted them to. I was hoping they would be a little bit stronger. They're cool. But man, may maybe they'll get like something else soon and, and they'll be able to push them over the edge. And then Still Swarm Origin. I mean, come on, it's a spawn archetype. So it would be amazing to see more for them. And if, if they could actually win some tournaments or something, that'd be amazing too. They're one of those I'm always going to root for. Hidden Summoners, everything's holographic, of course, with this. So what do we got? And... Well, we got one of the Prank Kids Link Monsters. This one is Prank Kids uh, Rip Roarin' Roaster. Yeah, I forgot the names of these. Uh, that one's pretty decent, actually. I mean, Prank Kids is like the main archetype people likes from that set. And I think they're still doing fairly well in tournaments these days. So, yeah, <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I don't remember how tough that one was to get. I know the field spell was like the short print. And we have another one. Maybe we'll get the field spell next, right? Let's see. Oh, another Prank Kids. Then another Link Monster. Another one for Prank Kids as well. I think we got all their Link Monsters from these two packs. Uh, Prank Kids, uh, Doo Doo Doodle Doo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was the one with the name I hate saying on camera. That's right. Uh, but yeah, we actually got the Prank Kids cards. I mean, honestly, that's one of the better things you can get from that set. So sure, I'll go with that. Storm of Ragnarok. Actually, an older pack of this. I guess it's the only one we're not guaranteed a hollow. So let's see. Let's get one of the Nordic gods, you know, get like Odin or something. Let's see. Then, uh, first off we have, oh yeah, uh, White Beta, or I don't really know how you say that one's name. I never have said it right. Then, ah, unfortunately no hollow. She and Squire though, pretty good common. I'll go with that. And now, Chaos Impact, the newest set at the time of recording. What can we end with? Can we end with the Prismatic? I don't know. I, I'm still hoping one of these days I'm actually going to get one of those on camera. Uh, let's see. Never know. Man, a few Link Monsters there. Then we have uh, Aneros, the uh, Dream Mirror uh, Earl King. And then also Jelly Cannon. Oh yeah, there's uh, the World Legacy. I still love that artwork too. I think they're going to make sleeves of that or something. Going to have to get those. And last pack. All right. Share your energy with me. Everyone hit that like button. Let's see what we can get. Maybe we can end with something really cool. Like I said, get that prismatic, right? I, I still want to get one of those. I'm hoping maybe uh, some of those boxes will be cheap for Black Friday and maybe we'll pick up a couple and still hunt for a prismatic. I don't know. And, okay, I'll end with that. You know what? That's better than a super. I'll take an ultra. It is a uh, bounty. So, yeah, we got that. And then a Gladiator Beast Charge. So, not bad. I mean, well, from our other packs, too, we did really well. Getting Cyber's Clock Dragon is sold. I mean, that's always good. Uh, like I said, even the Mega Pack I was really happy with because we got Engage, which I think I only got one of those out of my whole case, so that was a tougher one. And then uh, also World Legacy Succession. That's awesome because that card's been tough for me to get, too. I don't, I don't know if it's that way for other people as well. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I, I think that one's a good value on that, too. But, of course, like I said, they gave this to me for full transparency on that. But I do believe this is a good value on that. So uh, let me know if you guys pick up on these, what you get from it. And I might see about getting another one as well because I like the random packs from it. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, uh, ring that bell, subscribe, and all that, too. And uh, let me know if you see any good Black Friday deals because I'm going to be out there looking for that. And I'll probably have, like, a video compiling what I find anyway 
on Black Friday deals and try to share info. Maybe we can all help each other out and get a lot of stuff for openings and uh, yeah, I'll save money, I guess, really. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are looking forward to that and I will catch you guys later. See ya.